guys on the bracket, um, exclamation mark bracket in the chat to get that. Um, keep your eyes open and if you've never been to a meltdown before, hopefully the action you're going to get today is going to convince you to get, uh, get yourself on down to central London for the UK's most stacked weekly. Every week you've got players like Ixis, Streaks, Luigi Mitsu, Aperture, uh, me on the comms, Jackster on the sticks, well, six and comms, uh, people like uh, Rumbai, Reptile, Tuvi. Anyway, we're getting straight into the getting straight into the action. No button checks needed. Super Gamer coming in fast with the pressure. He's got PK Cheese sitting at the ledge, and he gets rolled almost instantly. Up Smash going to put him up into disadvantage. He really needs to land. Oh, Parry! Parries him and <laughs> still has time to get back onto the ledge and hit him with the F smash as well. Parries hits him with the roller, runs off past him with the roller, gets back onto the ledge and F smashes him into oblivion. Not quite looking too good for PK Cheese right now. But I get the feeling he does have some PK Cheese up his sleeve if he can just get Super into a spot where he maybe indulges some of his own panic options. Super Gamer whiffing the back air, but however, falling victim to that Lucas Nair. Gets himself jab locked. However, Super thinks he can charge it. This is not Smash 4 anymore, sir. You need to let those smashes after the jab resets rip straight away. Oh, no. Super Gamer failing to turn around grab when he quite clearly wanted to there. And anyway, getting himself grabs. Going to get thrown back off the stage by PK Cheese. PK Cheese not pressuring the ledge as hard as I'd have liked to have seen him. Choosing... Oh, he gives up so much stage. Super Gamer just allowed to run back on stage for free. Super Gamer pressuring the shield. Uh, and he gets rollered. That should be... No, he manages to mash out. Impressive mashing. He was at a relatively high percent as well. That was probably some of the, pa the last patch coming into it as well. Punish on the roller. Super Gamer, Super Gamer not making it safe. Back air, putting PK Cheese off stage, and he gets himself clipped by that grenade. PK Freeze, you don't want to get caught by that. However, in his panic, uses the neutral getup, gets clipped with a f with a fair, and he gets transported to the blast zone. The thing about PK Freeze is, when you get hit by PK Freeze in this game, it practically tweens you to the blast zone. You just get carried at a very steady velocity towards the blast zone, knowing that if your mash isn't quite godlike, there's not much you can do about it. Super Gamer catching him popping up out of the roller. With that up air, but sitting on quite a commanding lead. He's more than lapped him in percent. PK Cheese trying to build up ahead of Steam. Oh, just missing himself with that PK Thunder 2. Gets himself rollered. However, Super Gamer misjudging when he was going to pop out. Or, P to his credit, PK Cheese could well be mixing up, mixing up his mash timing. Super Gamer fades away with the back air. Catches him with the grenade. Wow, PK Cheese in a lot of trouble down here. Manages to use the tether to get back. Parry going to hit him with all three jabs. Res reset stage control. There goes PK Freeze, Super Gamer. Really good dare right there. Catches catches him with it. Starts it early up in his in the arc of his jump. However, Super Gamer comes on, hits him with the roller. Going to clip him with that up smash. And that is going to be 102 Super Gamer. Is there any way for me to make the uh, any way for me to make the preview screen bigger? <laughs> so yeah, I saw um, when he had the advantage. I saw PK Cheese giving advan giving stage control up way too easily, backing off at the ledge when he really could have been a, a, like he really could have been sort of making the most of his uh, of his pressure and sort of piling on about piling it on. But he sort of took took a few strides towards the middle of the stage, which gave Super Gamer the, the kind of uh, the, the kind of space he needed to get back. And Super Gamer with the Ridley switch. Okay. 
Anyway, see the game, they're out of disadvantage. Gets, him, gets himself clipped with that Nair, almost gets dragged down. I don't know why he opted for the switch here. Like, he seems to be messing around and uh, I don't like to see, I don't like to see that in bracket. I don't like to see that in bracket. Uh, and he seems to be uh, quite a ways behind in this stock as a result of it. His his inkling was doing absolutely fine against this Lucas. Almost almost lost his stock there, and he gets tweened to the blast zone. Like it, like it, like this was like this was Adobe Flash. That was a motion tween over to the blast zone. Uh, can't, not going to grab punish that from that range. But however, PK Cheese really uh, really looking to push his advantage now. Build up a little bit of extra credit. Super Gamer using a single fireball to try and to try and follow him behind, and he's wow that really could have ended badly for PK Cheese if Super Gamer had reacted to his forward movement there. Because PK Cheese just ran in and grabbed, he would have he would have one hundred percent died. PK Cheese. Taking control, keeping control with the neutral, gets himself command grabbed, however, out into disadvantage, and Super Gamer just lets him tether to the stage. Really, when you've got a tether character off stage there, you've just got to put yourself between them and the ledge and throw out a hitbox. The earlier, the better, and he's going to get himself twin to the blast zone once again. Is this going to be a... This is going to be a serves you right three stock. No, it is not. Super Gamer chucking out that F smash, and PK Cheese giving him the hit and hope. Now, PK Cheese, I want to see him. I want to see him play this as lame as possible. People say lame like it's a bad thing. I, the smart way for PK Cheese to, Cheese to play right now would be to force Super Gamer to approach him. Less throwing out. He does not have to throw out a single grab in neutral. This is this is his game. Super Gamer must approach him. So I want to I want to see him keeping Super out with PK Fire, PK Fire, and that superior frame data as well. There we go. Running in with an approaching PK fire. Not too foot not too thrilled with that. There we go. Nair's over to cross him up on the shield. Gets the hit, and there we go. Doesn't need to approach the ledge. Just take a step back. PK fire. Nice. That's what we want. That's what we want to see when you've got such a commanding lead. Tries to go for a Hail Mary read. If he loses his stock, if he loses his stock here, this could become an even game very quickly. Super Gamer wanted the command grab, got stopped in his tracks. Gets caught with a dare off stage. Aggressive option from PK Cheese. Didn't have to play nearly as aggressively in that game. But stops stops the game dead right there. Super Gamer needs to be switching back to a character he has a firm grip of. So either Toon Link or Inkling. Um, he's smiling in the ca smiling in the camera. Watch when he drops into losers round two. <laughs> like it's, it's all a joke until someone drops into losers round two. If you're if you're I'll tell you what. If you're a bad man, pick Ridley again. If you're a bad man, pick Ridley again. If you if you really don't care, if it's if it's that much of a joke, it's all fun and games until you're in losers round two. There we go. Straight back to Inkling. Fought so. That was it. That wasn't quite like the frame one switch, like frame frame ten, frame ten or something. That's fine. There you go. Gets that grenade sent back to him. Now, PK Cheese could really. If PK Ch oh PK Cheese opted to stay in shield. Didn't recognise that Super Super hasn't been jump cancelling that. He really hasn't been jump cancelling those rollers on shield. He just seems to expect them to hit. And now the th the thing about this is because Super made the joke counter pick. Super made the, almost what was a joke counter pick. He didn't need to switch to Ridley there. He was in full command with Inkling. If if PK Cheese finds himself ahead in this matchup, he could find him. He Super could find himself under a lot of mental stress, and that can lead to silly mistakes. See PK Cheese in the lead right now. Like this is not what was happening in game one. Super had that convincingly. 
PK Cheese playing patient, patiently, gets himself buried. Not quite enough to kill though. You gotta mash it. But at that kind of percent, I want to see people mashing out of that faster. But get those tricep muscles involved. Aggressive option to get back onto stage from PK Cheese. Super trying to bait out, bait out the roll. Gets himself in position to punish the roll, but PK Cheese gets up. Gets up in place. Gets himself buried, however, and loses his first stock. PK Cheese seems to seems to be throwing out a lot of hitboxes in the hope that he'll get he'll, he'll get himself into advantage. Super Gamer relentless. <laughs> You're not going to be able to shield grab that one, my friend. Not before, at least not before the final hit, at the very least. There we go, Super Gamer building up, building up that little bit of extra credit now. Nice idea with the down smash to cover the landing. Super Gamer knows, he played a tether character for three years. He knows with that run in that the grab is coming. Doesn't punish it nearly hard enough though. Gets himself rolled. Dash dancing in and out, trying to bait out laggy options from PK Cheese. And is getting quite a bit of mileage off that in this second stock. Just rollers off the platform onto the ground and gets himself up ahead for it. That one was uh, that one was well deserved. Oh, PK Cheese, I really want to see you reacting to these rollers a bit faster. You would have you'd have kept you might have kept a stock or two over this set if he'd have reacted a bit faster to those rollers. If, I get the feeling he's just playing his own game and he's not really looking for it. See, P Super Gamer knows when he wants to approach and just punishes the recovery with Roller the moment he lands. Oh wow, that was a hard call out. There we go, Super Gamer jump, jumping to cross up out of that Roller. There we go. PK Cheese perhaps on shield, if he doesn't want to drop shield, turn around and grab. At least let me see you like nair out of shield. That's what that's the kind of thing I'm looking for right now. But anyway, Super Gamer with the back air gonna take that second stop now. He's on he's on set point. Nice nice read on the roll. Doesn't quite chase it hard enough though. Nice aggressive option. Nice lets himself drop down as well. Nice recovery. Again, needs to just hold it. At this point you need to jump over. There we go. Nice punish. Where's the jab block? No! Does Luke, someone in the chat let me know, does Lucas have jab, jab lock setups? If he if he does, like, uh, well, I mean, like, literally with his jab, with jab one or something like that, like a lot of characters do. I'm not too sure about how how Lucas can punish Mistex from the ground. There we go. Shield grab finally punishing that roller. Disrupting Super Gamer, and he is dead. Nice. PK Cheese has made this a lot closer than it had any, any real right to be. <coughs> And this is where the mental damage of Super, Super having maybe played himself with that game too could come into play. If PK Cheese can start putting damage on, he's got a pl he's got plenty of time left on the clock to do so. He doesn't have to be so impatient as to go in. He's really trying to get in clanks with that roller, and he gets himself rollered again, and he's going to lose the set to that up smash. And that is going to be two one two. Oh, no, that is going to be two not to PK Cheese. That is going to be two one. Two Super Gamer. Yeah, 